and welcome back to some more Enshroud. Right, as you can see, I've started up a fresh little character. I have absolutely nothing, I am level 1, nothing here, and still hints and such. I mean, I guess I can turn all of that off, but uh, sure. Right, so I joined my wife. My wife is uh, over there. Huh? Now, I wonder if my wife actually took this route, because there are some bombs. Let's see. Right, this is green. So chest. Wait. A hatchet. Okay, so I am missing the action. My wife is currently getting invaded by bugs. Okay, gotta move. Gotta hatch it. Hang on. What am I doing? Uh, doi? Right? <laughs> uh, and I'm supposed to teach her how to play. Right, oh, right, oh, right, oh. Hang on. I do need an axe that I do. So, yeah, just a little bit of fast gathering. Now, let's go and find the wife. I see something over the horizon. Right. Okay, so that's the wife. Yes. Hello, wife. You wanna smack? No, that doesn't work. Right, so we are just basically going to observe her playing in Shroud. Now, I do believe, I'm not sure, I don't think the regular enemies become stronger once you are in multiplayer, but I've heard that the bosses get harder. Oh, huh? she's made a little bit of a house. Oh, I, I can't double jump, that's gonna be an issue. Right, she's already unlocked. Oswald. Not sure if I'm supposed to read all that, but yeah. Oh yeah, she's built. She's built a house. And something is broken here. But other than that, I mean, it's a nice house. Better than my starting base. Well, let's see. Has this bastard reappeared? Maybe. Bastard? I don't see no bastard. Right, okay, so no ring for me right now. Uh, a little bit of shroud wood, maybe? Alright, I don't have stamina. Now, one thing that I am gonna do in order to challenge myself a little bit, I am going to attempt to play through the entire game without using my HUD. So we will see how that goes. Now, I am very accustomed to having good food and good armor, because we could technically just already go straight to the Kindle Waste over here and get legendary armor. Now, since we are on a server, I'm an ambush. Ah, this I know. That took a few hits. Uh, okay, so now Shroud Spores. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, since we are playing on a server, we are not able to log in and out. I mean, we could, but yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Let's see. Okay, we need to be careful about the archer. This fella. Come around then. One moment now. Okay, well, this, is, um, this is gonna be tough. There we go, level 2, not bad. Oh, hang on. Oh, 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 okay, I'm almost dead again. Alright, uh, I want this. And heal up, uh, heal up. There we go. Oh, oh, okay, hang on. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm almost dead. Right, gonna use one of those thingies. Then we just need animal fur. And it looks like I need another heal. Right, they also changed that. Once you take damage after using a bandage, you no longer heal. Hmm, yeah, that, uh, that could pose a problem. No, I don't really want to steal materials from my wife, so, yeah, we, are, we just need to find some animals. Now, I do wonder, yeah, okay, so one active altar, okay, we are sharing altars. Hmm, how, how would that work with, like, 16 people on a server? And also all the mobs are gone. I think my wife has been going crazy. Yeah, I, I see no animals nearby. That's something. That is, in fact, something. I also know there's some lore over here. The alchemist theories, yeah. Can't believe that I forgot that uh, the first time. Well, I said that I wasn't going to steal anything from my wife, but I guess I lied. Well, we're married, so everything of hers is mine. Let's see, that's the glider. Oh, hang on, I can't see the food. Okay, well, I'm... Um, yeah, so apparently cooking was the hardest <laughs> obstacle right now. Is it just me, or is cooking faster? It seems a lot faster. Now again, late level, you never really cook by a fire, but mm, maybe, maybe just maybe. Mm. Like my wife found the alchemist theories, not not too bad, considering that I didn't the first time. Yeesh. Ah, beautiful scenery and a beautiful wife with big boobies. Yes. Oh, well, she knows how to use a torch. Yes, she's a proper gamer. And one good thing about Enshrouded is that I do believe if I fall asleep, then yeah, time passes even though my wife is awake. Yeah, looks like the shadows are moving faster. Here we go. Right. Fantastic. Oh, what a sight to behold. A rare encounter. A girl gamer trying to figure out the game -ish. I do believe that this series is basically going to be me just observing the wife, helping her out in combat, 
doing whatever she does and answering any questions she might have about the game. Now she have a tendency to know exactly what to do. Oh, hang on. Yeah, knowing exactly what she's supposed to do, take off her shirt. Yes, more views. Oh, oh. right. Oh, okay. We're just gonna observe from behind this pillar. A lot of people probably already knew this. Oh, zombies chasing a rat. Oh, yeah, we're going to look at this. I'm gonna help her out with a little bit of an arrow. Oh, apparently didn't need. Uh, right. What I was saying is that if I take this mushroom, I can right-click it, and then I can gift it to my wife. Okay, so you can just trade whatever you have in your inventory with whomever is on the server. Oh, that's interesting. That's a good system. Again, I've never played on a server. That's going to be interesting. Now, here's a good hint for any beginner in the beginning area. Well, you could obviously destroy stuff and just get anything, but there's also a water fountain over here, which you could get a lot of water from. And water means stamina. Where did wife go? Well, I guess it's just a hint for you and me then. Yes, water. The essence of life. Oh, here we go. Yeah, because in the beginning you do have three slots for food buffs. And all depending on the food, I mean, you should at least have all of them activated. Depends on how much food you have. Like this place. I know there's some food hidden behind here, like a rabbit. Then we can just cook that. Let's see, is this faster? Okay, so it's not necessarily that much faster. Okie dokie. And head off again. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, another difficulty is going to be finding my wife without the HUD. You, huh? Oh, I don't have a lockpick. Uh, wife, your turn. Oh, would you look at that? She just created a lockpick and she's good to go. I have a feeling that my wife is a better gamer than I am. And it was from Arrows. Now, I do wonder. I've seen other people play on a server. There are like four people. And it looks like when they loot chests, they get multiple loot. Maybe that doesn't count since we're two. And again, we have also spawned into her world. Not sure if that's a difference. I guess we will find out. Let's see. Now we're going to investigate if my wife managed to find the secret door. Where could it be? I wonder. Where could the secret door be? Uh -huh. Yes, she figured it out. And she closed the door. And there she is. Oh, I just lost my wife. <laughs> Uh, this is fun. Now, one thing you could do is when you fall, you could press space again so that you don't take fall damage and eat some berries to heal. Right up. Lead away, wife. I mean, I don't have the sneak attack. I guess we will see. Okay, no other enemy is just a regular jammy. Okay, he gets. Come out. There we go. Not sure why I went into first person right there, but maybe sure. Okay, here's two of the bastards. Yeah, no idea why I'm a first person. I do. Hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit strange. Why do we go into first person? Ow! Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna activate this thing. Because when we stand next to this thing, the shroud meter fills up. And we don't die. And also, if we do die, we spawn next to this thing. Right, and the boss is right down here. I know there's a chest here. Good. Ooh, well, look at that. Epic bow. Don't mind if I do. I only have wooden arrows, but that is probably going to be fine. Just fine. Okay, this way, wave. And here we go. Now let's 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 watch. I'm gonna support her a little bit with the arrows. Okay, oh, stamina. And fire. I mean, he is just focusing on me right now, so that's not a big issue. Just need to be careful that I don't run out of stamina. Is that oh, like right there? That would be bad. Oh, I can just kite him around. A little bit of like a gym. And fire. And a little bit like a gym. And a fire. Yeah, I mean, this is the tutorial boss, so it's, it's not an issue. Okay, he's coming for the wife. Yeah, she knows to run away. So there is Shroud in here, so I'm not sure. Oh, she can block. Yeah. And the boss is dead. Neato. Oh, she got a couple of good weapons. She decided not to share, but that's fine. And then we just chop down this thing and get some free skill points. Oh, no, hang on a minute, wife. You need an axe. A proper axe. Ah, uh -huh. close, but that is still not an axe axe. That is an axe, but not a wood chopping axe. A very easy mistake to make. Tainted axe is axe. I mean, she's gotten a tainted axe, and I understand the logic, but no. Uh, I mean, it does work. That it does. And I think we got, yeah, we got three skill points in uh, for that thing. Five in use? What do you mean five in use? I should only have two in use. Okay, sure. 
Uh, let's see, sprinting, uh, probably, and some more endurance, right. I'm not sure what I'm aiming for, probably rebound, maybe. I mean, also double jump, double jump would be very good. Right, so another little epimajig. My wife might already notice that we are no longer in shroud, and once you're no longer in shroud, you can teleport back to your base. You know, let's test out. Yeah, we can both use the chest at the same time, so that's that's good. Okay, so the first boss is down. Now we just need to conquer the ancient spire of Spring Lange. Okay, it looks like my wife is doing very well. So this tutorial series will probably be more of a spectation series. Oh, some more arrows. And then it's the wife to yeah, yes. She knows what to do. Now, one thing that I know, there's a quest from the blacksmith from the Oswald that there's a hidden chest underneath here. Now, I could just go straight down and dig towards it, but hmm, I guess uh, I guess that's going to be something for the wife to figure out. Okay, this guy takes a lot of arrows. There we go. And yeah, stab his head. And block, block, block. Oh, yes. Easy as pie. Ooh, an elixir potion. Oh, fancy. Ah, uh, maybe that's what I uh, the scavenger are hooked on them because I get 30% damage multiplier. Oh, my wife is sneaking. Let's observe the wife. Oh, she did a sneak attack. Oh, that's explosions. Oh, hang on a minute. And explosions. He doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> what is this then? It's not something new. Another failure. Yeah, Cinderwald. A little bit of repair, maybe. Stab and stab and stab and stab and stab and stab and stab. Oh, what? What did I do there? Okay, I did a kick for some reason. That's interesting, that's new. Never done a kick before. Now oh, hang on, why does it say that I haven't read this? Is it because my wife is reading it? That's a staff. Okay, that's weird, right? I shouldn't have unlocked this lore on this character. I mean, he's as fresh as can be. Now let's see if my wife has the gamer instinct. Oh, there we go. Ow, Wolfie. Oh, hang on, Wolf, I'm trying to make a series over here. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. I am almost a dead man. Right. What I was referring to, gaming, um, gamer instinct, something is glowing, and my wife was immediately attracted to it. Yeesh. All right. We can also read the lore at the same time as well. Okay. So apparently, when she reads the lore, I also unlock said lore. Hmm. Okay. That's that's interesting. Okay, so my wife is currently contemplating on what that meant by a hidden tomb. She is currently searching for the hidden tomb somewhere. And I must confess, the first time I was here, I did the same thing. I thought maybe it was buried, maybe it was somewhere close. But yes, it's right over there. This way, wife, follow me. Right, the tomb that we are searching for is straightforward over there. However, there's many spiders. So I think, hang on a second, wife. I think we should conquer the spire before we travel to that area. Because a spire comes in very handy if you die. Yes, because then you can just teleport to the area. Where did wife go? Is she off killing spiders? She's somewhere. It's hard to spot. Oh, there she is, right? Just blending in through the bushes. Let's see, she spotted something glowing. Yeah, that's good. And she reads it, and it's no longer glowing for me. And yes, I do unlock the lore. Okay, not bad. Wish I could see my health without having to turn on the AI. AI? UI. She's a fast reader, so she just skims through it. I mean, loads of the lore doesn't really tell you much, but some of the lore shows the location or hints towards treasure. But again, more often than not, um, they just show the location with a question mark. Okay, this is my wife's first encounter with the ancient spire. She's contemplating on what to do. She's standing in the circle. She pressed the button. I guess we'll press the button too. Oh, and here we are. Yes, press the button. In a chest with a wand. Oh, and some daggers for me. That could be fancy. Gifted the daggers to me. They're... what? They're worse? How is that possible? Wait, what now? I mean, I can level them up, but... Yeah, they're, they're actually worse face damage than my other daggers. Way more durability, so I'm going to change. Okay, where did the wife go? Ah, she's there, right. Need to keep up with her. Uh, that's strange. I mean, both of them are level 3. Um, I, well, I can upgrade it so it gets 40% more critical damage. That could be something. Well, she's thoroughly exploring the room, trying to find secrets and destroying the pots. Very good, very good. And she saw the thing, but she failed. That is okay. Just give it another go. Now, she's finding the stairs again. 
I should start watching nature documentaries so that I could imitate the language. Okay, my wife is standing clear, doing the swing, jumping, and she managed to do the jump beautifully, I might add. Now she's going to continue to explore for a mate who doesn't make fun of her. Ooh, what are you going to do now, wife? You have a couple of options. Down below, there's spikes. Over, over the edge, there's... Oh, okay, she just pressed E. Not bad. Exactly what we needed to do. But now, let's observe. What is my wife going to do? She's going to destroy Posh. Okay, after destroying all the Posh, we're going to the next stage. Okay, that, that was weird. Now, this could pose a challenge. Now, I do believe that these pots are harder and not necessarily worth destroying. Um, there's some stuff in them. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure about my stamina, but we will see if I have enough to get up here. Ooh, okay, that was close. Now, this is gonna be interesting. What is my wife gonna do now? Oh, she is asking how the hell did I get up here? And I'm not gonna tell her. We're just gonna observe. Oh, she's discovered something. Oh, here we go. She's climbing. And climbing. Right oh, she's up here. Now, what are you gonna do now, wife? She's gonna destroy some barrels. Now oh, I have a feeling that I'm saying wife a little bit too often, but again, this is a documentary about a girl gamer exploring in Shrouded for the first time. She has encountered a locked door. Right, what is going to happen next? I can feel that my wife is getting exhausted by me talking like this, and also not helping her directly. But again, that is what is going to make this series more fun. What is she going to do? She is thinking, she is looking, and she is figuring it out. She sees that there's an icon above the door. She also sees that there's something glowing up here. Now, the only question is how to do the thing. Now, a little bit of a jump and a headbutt right into the wall. Could do something. <laughs> She's looking around. Well, this is a good experiment, and maybe something even for Keen Games to discover that it is not all. Oh, hang on. Oh, she's learning. Ah, there we go. Yes, she did the thing. And she gets a big ass mace. I mean, it's common, but it is decent. Right, well, yeah, she did understand what to do without any further hints. Now, I could have obviously just have shown her what she was supposed to do, but again, I think that this is going to be an entertaining series. Probably mostly for me, but yes. Now, right here, we can just... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh. <gasps> right, okay. Trying to act tough, but I almost died. Here we go. And then just... <laughs> yes, this is indeed going to be very fun. And up we go. Now, this is going to be fun. Very fun for me. Now, a good trick to keep in mind when standing above the... Spikes is that you can wait for them to. Oh, okay. Well, you, never mind. Well, you can wait for them to rise up a little bit, and once they do that, you can just freely jump, and then you're safe. Like they rise, jump, and you can land. They rise, you jump, and then you can land. But as you can see, I mean, I failed basically instantly, and I have to heal. Let's observe. Of course, it is easier when you also have audio cues and jump. Oh, my wife is doing well. In a jump, has not a jump. Yeesh. Okay, well, now I'm doing a little bit better once you get into the uh, rhythm of things. But yes, my wife did well. She only got hit once, and so did I, so that's good. Here's the door. Oh, yes, this is gonna be something. Oh, the gamer instinct is kicking in. There's a door. Uh, another door here, with a golden chest. I she try to open the door. Look above the door, wife. There's two buttons over there, which means we need to hit two buttons. Huh? Not bad, not bad thinking. She also has good aim, but that's um, that's not the buttons. I think I misspoke. That just shows how many buttons we need to hit. Be jump, be jump. There's a button, and you can hit that button. Now there's also a chest over here. Now how would you get over to this chest? Oh, she has learned. Not bad. She got a bunch of arrows. Oh, she's doing great jumps. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, this is the way up. This is not the way we want to go right now. Now, there's one more button that we need to press in order to open the gate to the legendary chest. Now, where could that button be? The wife got some magic. Okay, now this is going to be interesting. Oh, she did the jump. Not bad at all. That's impressive. I didn't make the jump the first time. Okay, now I do wonder... I'm gonna test something out. I mean, it doesn't matter if I die right now, but what if I... No, I don't think I can heal her that fast, can I? No. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, 
double death. That's fine, just revive. Now we're back at the beginning. Now there could be some good practice just to eat some food so that you get your stamina and HP up a little bit. Right, okay, so for the sake of my wife, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Right, okay, then we press the button. Okay, now I can eat the proper food again. I mean, already wasted all my food. Let's see, okay, so I'm just gonna be quick about this. I'm gonna take the glory, and what do we have here? Ooh, an apprentice wand. I mean, they have nerfed wands quite a bit. Oh, well, look at that, my wife is ballsy. She wanted to try for herself, and she managed to do it properly. Not bad, Mish. Okay, my wife is a jumping machine, Mexican jumping bean. And up we go. Ah, there we go. We conquered the spire. Yes. Now we have a fast travel to the middle of this thing. Well, there's a lot of stuff around here for us to explore. Hmm. Now it would be very easy for us to just travel over to the Pillars of Creation. I mean, the Dragon Sword is right there. And that's a level 23 sword, I believe. And as well as just making a way over there. Okay, well, I'm just speculating how much I should help my wife do the secret stuff. Speedrunning strats. But again, I think it is going to be way more fun to just observe. So that is probably what we're going to do. I mean, taking down the first boss and the spire. Very easy. She, she did great. Did, did it very easily. Now I do wonder how I'm going to proceed with these videos. If I'm just going to continue watching her or... What is going to happen? Hang on, it's a rabbit. Oh, that's a sneaker rabbit. Where, where did the rabbit go? Yeah, whoosh. Yeah, whoosh. I mean, I could just do like a so, like a so. Hang on, I need to hunt for rabbit. There we go. At least we managed to do quite a lot today, but right now I think that we're gonna save. As always, until next time.